This episode is brought to you by our patrons. Thank you so much for being a patron. And if you're not one and you'd like to become a patron, just jump on over to patreon.com slash lunchtime tech talk. Now on with our show. What's up, dude? I had a lot of days off work. Wasn't it great? Oh my gosh. It was so nice. So Laura and I ended up talking about it because we went to my parents Thursday Mm -hmm. and stayed with my sister overnight and we left Friday late morning. Mm -hmm. And so we had that weekend, Mm -hmm. two days, and then we had our own weekend at home. And so we just had two weeks. And thinking about it like that, thinking about it like completely broken up and separated, it felt like we had forever off. Yeah. I loved it. I was just getting used to being off work. My my wife actually goes, you know, I don't think I'll have a problem finding things to do in retirement. Right. She's like, I'm pretty happy not going into work. Right. People, people think that you just sit around in retirement, but you do the things that you enjoy and that you never get to when you're working. I don't know if I ever told you this, but it takes me several days to be able to sleep in. Uh huh. Like if I'm on vacation, like by the time I get to the end of the vacation, I'm finally able to like sleep until eight. Yeah. You sent me a text Wednesday morning, which was your first day off. Yeah. That said stalling, stalling. <laughs> Too many texts. Stalling. You and I talk a lot. Yeah. Kind of do. Seriously. <laughs> it's that far back. It's this far back. Still scrolling. Still scrolling. This is getting ridiculous. This, oh, Mind on a weekday. Sleep, sleep. Oh, you are a sleepy, sleepy person. Don't get up. It's only 6 a.m. Mind on a non-work day. Look, it's 5 a.m. Get up. Get up. Get the fuck up, you lazy turd. (laughs) See, you aren't sleepy. (laughs) That's exactly how my mind worked. (laughs) What time was that? 5.30? It was at 6.07, but you had been up, I'm sure. God. You were probably waiting to text me until I was up. Yeah, I was actually a little worried. I was like, I know he's going to work (laughs) this day, but... If he's not up, he needs to be up. <laughs> so on my days off, yeah. I uh, finally got my Christmas lights up. I did put them up. Yeah. And uh, my family wanted me to put more up higher on the house, but I refused to do it. I said, I'm not going to do it. I'm Good not, for you. I'm not going to get on our nice new shingles Good for and you. stomp around on them like a baboon and tear up my shingles. Well, I mean... You don't have to stomp. I know, but I just envision <laughs> that that's what's going to happen when I get up there. It's an urge. It, uh, Yeah. So I got them well, up. Well, so I end up stomping because, like, to get off of the really steep parts, you kind of have to run. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's not great. It's just not worth it, right? Like, I made my house look really nice by doing everything on the lower level. Yeah. And doing the doing two poles that are on my front porch uh-huh. made them look like i guess candy canes i don't know it's barbershop right. poles yeah but there's no red so eh. it's just white it's just it's just the white portion of a candy cane it's just swirly yeah and uh i did our tree okay the new tree that we bought oh the big tree yeah which was a pain because lexi and i originally went around the tree and since it's Kind of a newish tree. There's no like little limbs inside the big limbs. Uh-huh. And so by the time we got done, everything just slid to the middle and it looked like we just <laughs> threw a ball of lights up in the tree. That was awesome. So, <laughs> later, we went back out and I took zip ties and zip tied them lightly to the ends of the branches. And it looks, it looks decent now. It's better. So. Yeah, I always use, because lights come with, oh man. Tell me if this is something that you would have guessed about me. Um, I keep my light boxes and I fold them back up and use the same twist ties that they came with to put them in their same boxes every year. What did you ask me to tell you? Is that something that you would have thought I would have done? No. No? No. It's super anal. That's the only reason. Yes. Well, I get that portion of it, but I I just don't envision that. Right. Like That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I enjoy it, though. There's something about just a repetitive task of yeah. like, I'm not, I'm watching TV and I'm, and I'm doing this winding up lights yeah. and then I twist time, but I use those twist ties to tie them to the branches. Oh, that's a good idea. So they're kind of dual purpose. Yeah. There you what go. else did you do? Uh, well, I had Thanksgiving. What? Yep. Huh. I don't know if you did. I did. Here in America, we did. We did. Uh, but yeah, it was... It was pretty good. I mean, we had some family over, and um, it was the first time we got to use our house for, our new house for Thanksgiving. 
Yes. We had done it in the past in our last house, but then we had a few years where we did not do it. You had the rental. Yes. Yep. And so it was fun. Get get everybody together. Nice. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was good. How about you? Uh, we did the Thanksgiving thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, my sister and brother-in-law recently got a new house. Well, they actually are even closer to my parents now, okay. which I didn't think was possible. Mm. But they traded houses with their neighbor across the street. Oh, so they were already... You were going to say something. So they were... So they were really close to begin with. So yes. you weren't joking. It wasn't like they were a mile down the road. They were across the street. Yeah. And now they're like right next door. Yeah. So... I don't know how it originally worked, but there's like 20 acres, and out of that 20 acres, they chopped out seven, and that's where my sister lived. Mm -hmm. And the house across the street owned the bit kind of next to and behind gotcha. their land. Mm -hmm. And so he's building a house mm -hmm. on the other side of the road, and... He said, why don't, why don't we just switch houses and I can have all the property that's on this side of the road and you guys can have this four acres. The house is bigger. Mm -hmm. They only had one bathroom for four people. Mm -hmm. And so now, now they have two bathrooms. So that's they, a great thing to have. They really just switched houses? I mean, they went through and closed and all of that stuff. <clears throat> and there was a little money that changed hands. Mm -hmm. um, but because there was more land bigger house like it was, it was pretty close it was pretty close oh that's convenient super convenient huh. and but but the house was literally like another hundred feet closer to my parents and i haven't given her a hard time about it but at some point i will <laughs> <laughs> you just had to get closer to mom and just dad to right, get closer, right? <laughs> yeah. but anyway they have a basement now mm -hmm. and so my whole family stayed in the basement which was nice mm -hmm. because the kids there were no walls down there but there are couches. Yeah. So we put them on the other side of the couches and they sort of had their own room yeah. where they couldn't see us and all yeah. that. Um, so it was enjoyable spending the night and us having a, a real place to go. Nice. Um, we did Christmas pictures yesterday. Oh, yeah? At Bass Pro. Oh, you went and saw Santa Claus and yeah. stuff. Yeah. How'd yeah. that go? We We finally have... A screaming cry picture. Oh man! Yeah. Welcome to the world of screaming yes. crying kids, Santa Claus. So last which, year, which last kiddo? year we did Santa and the Easter Bunny, mm -hmm. and both were fine. Yeah. But not this year. Nope. Nope. They realized what the crap is this thing? Yeah. This is terrifying. So at the Republic uh, Labor Day thing, that was a few. Oh, uh, um, Pumpkin Days. Yes, yes. Pumpkin Days. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they had the fire truck there and they had a uh, Dalmatian mm. in costume mm -hmm. and my son lost his mind. Like, hated it. Oh, hated it. Yes. Oh, wow. Well, Wouldn't even get close. It's a giant right? dog. And so we're standing in line with both of them yesterday like pointing at Santa mm -hmm. and we're watching the people in front of us sit on Santa's lap and we're like yay! You know, talking it up. My son sits on his lap no problem and my daughter loses her mind. What? She clawed the back of my arm as I tried to set her down like she did not want to let go. Oh Had her face buried in my shoulder <laughs> no. like so we've got the <laughs> red face, tears, mouth wide open like the classic I don't want to do this Christmas picture. Yeah. I just wonder what that fear is. Why do kids have that? It's a stranger. I mean, I know, but there's like... no one in our family that has a big white beard. If we had sat them down on a on a dark haired bearded person, probably been fine. Probably been fine. Yeah. Because everyone in my family has a beard. Yeah. Of some length. Yeah. But So your son <laughs> lost it with the Dalmatian uh -huh. and now your daughter lost it with Santa Claus. Yeah. But your son was fine with Santa. Totally fine. He just sat there. <laughs> He's like, I'm not messing with the animals, but the humans I'm right. fine humans with. Humans are fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh so we pick him up after the picture's taken. They both give him a high five. Mm -hmm. She was fine with that. She just wanted me. Yeah. She wanted she wanted security. Right. Yeah. And so anyway. That is hilarious. One to look back on. Hey, you got one. We got one. <laughs> so uh, something about a big green egg? Yeah. Is that what B E B G E That means? is what B G E is. Ah, yes. I knew it. Yes. Uh I did my first cold weather cook yesterday. Oh. What'd you cook? 
Um, so we buy these frozen uh, pasta things from Sam's. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to cook them in the oven. Yeah. But if you smoke them, they're really, really good. Yeah. And it's supposed to get up to 350. Mm -hmm. And my big green egg never got above 300 yesterday. Mm. Now, I did not have a full thing of charcoal. Oh, okay. Like I was out, and so I just used what was still in there. Yeah. Might have been part of it. Okay. Um, it was super windy though yeah. yesterday, and yeah. so <clears throat> I just don't think the outside would allow the inside to get all the way up to temperature. But at 300 degrees, it still cooked fine. Nice. We left it an extra 10 minutes, and it was no problem. I mean, everything's fully cooked. You're just heating it up, right. really. Yeah. So the pieces of charcoal that you had, and I asked this just because I have one, and I struggled for a long time for getting temperature up to where I needed it to. The yeah. pieces of charcoal, were they big chunks or were they little? Were they, they like were, bottom of the bag? Yeah, because I had used yeah. the, I had dumped it in last time. So there was nothing large left. It was all inch and a half yeah. probably or less. Yeah. I hadn't. I didn't have any lumps left. It had See, all broken up. I don't go through a lot of charcoal. I don't use my egg that much. I probably use it 10, 15 times a year yeah. at most. I'm not a big cooker on it but i so whenever i buy charcoal like a 20 pound bag lasts me the whole year and so i bought a brand of charcoal which i've never had any trouble with royal oak but this bag had to have been the very bottom of like their charcoal bin because it uh, came it with all like golf ball almost. size lumps yeah and i got so frustrated for that whole year of like I can't get my grill up to temperature. Oh. It wouldn't get above. It would do that. It would do that exact thing where it just, yeah. no matter what I did. Yeah. And so my brother's really big into cooking on his egg. And I asked him and he's like, well, what kind of charcoal you buy? And I told him, he's like, well, that's usually pretty good. That's normally what I buy. And I said, but it's weird because normally I have bigger chunks and these are, these are pretty little. So I thought maybe they'd work better or not. And I didn't know why the bag was that way. He's like, oh, no, you need big chunks. Yeah. And then I bought another bag. I threw that away. Uh-huh. I just got rid of it. And yeah. I bought another bag of, I think, the same stuff. But, but it, was it was a more normal. It was normal. And I haven't had a problem since. Right. So I don't know why small charcoal causes problems like that, but I bet you that's one of the reasons and the cold probably. Well, definitely. there's just not enough. I mean, I think because it's constantly burning up a piece and trying to light a new piece rather than a big piece being on fire and getting hot and, yeah. and just being there. Mm -hmm. You know, <clears throat> even with a campfire, if you're lighting twigs, they burn up really quick. You don't get that much heat. I guess that's true. And then once you yeah. finally get the big logs going, like then you've got something to sit around. Heat. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know, but it, it worked. Nice. But that was my first cold weather cold thing. Weather and cook. that's my I finished my third bag since no. I bought it in May. You are really use, using it. That's I good. I think it's worth the <laughs> That's good because you don't want to have it and not use it. Yeah. But in the the last time I dumped that in and finished off the bag, I was like, ah, I should get another bag. And then I was like, ah, we're headed into winter. Right. I'm probably not going to use it. But, you know, we were looking at like what we had available for dinner yesterday. And I listed off things and Laura goes... Are you going to smoke that pasta or were you just going to cook it? And I go, I'll fix it however you want it. And she goes, if you smoke it, that's what I want for dinner. Yeah. Well, the and nice so thing that's is, what is we had. you just start that thing up and it pretty much maintains itself. Yeah. Especially mm. yesterday. Like I let it go longer than I would have. If I had known it was going to stop at 300 and mm -hmm. not get any warmer, I would have put the food on quicker. Mm. But at some point I even went out and kind of messed with everything mm -hmm. and to see if I could get it a little warmer. Like if I close stuff up. Will it trap more heat, yeah. even though you're not letting in as much air? Right. And that didn't really make a difference. Hmm. And so... But still cooked it good. It still cooked it fine. Nice. And 300 degrees for anything that I've cooked so far would have actually been fine or too hot. Mm -hmm. I've cooked everything between like 225 and 300. Yeah. And so just because this was oven directions and it needed to get up to 350 was the only even... Right. Only reason. But... Yeah. Anyway, it worked. Nice. It was great. Well, uh, I wanted to mention one other thing. I have been playing around with some woodworking tools mm -hmm. and my miter saw. And I learned, I taught myself, well, YouTube taught me, and then I taught myself how to basically dial in my miter saw. 
So I played around with it yesterday and got because it Because the... In. the the degrees marked on there might not always be perfect. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. they've got the degrees marked on there. It's a compound sliding miter saw. So it, it swivels both directions and then it twists. I don't know. It goes every which way. Does it also lean? Yes. It okay. leans. It does it le 90s. It does 45s by leaning. It does 45, uh, 45s by turning. And then it does and 90 degrees. And then you degrees. also have the extender, yes. which is the sliding part, so that you can cut a wider board. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so... You got I, a good one, then. Yeah, well, it is a Harbor Freight. It's a Chicago one. I can't... Chicago... <coughs> Chicago something. I can't remember what the brand is. But It was more expensive than the cheapest one at Harbor Freight. Even yes. though it was still at Harbor Freight. Yes, like, it was. Like, you got a... It a, was the nicer off-brand version. <laughs> sure. So, and sure. it works really, really well. I mean, now that I've got it dialed in... And I watched that YouTube video on how to do it. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Nice. Now I wouldn't want to go into cabinet making with it, like as a profession. Fair. I would buy like a really nice one. Fair. <laughs> but yeah, that was cool. I was like, oh, I didn't even know that you could adjust all this stuff. So I learned a ton about it. And there's actually this little doodad that you flip up if you want to make sure that you're, since it, since it swivels both directions, uh -huh. since it leans both directions, you, you have to be really careful on getting, you have to basically set it at perfect 90 degree. Uh -huh. And if you're off, right. then it's not good. But they have this little thing that can pop down and pop back up and there's a set screw. And so if you want to make sure you're on 90, you pop that thing up, you swivel it over till it touches it and then you lock it in place. Oh. And since you've already dialed that in, you know, that's 90. I'm like, this is genius. It's smart. Yeah. So, so there's like a template built into the machine. Yeah. To help you. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So it works worked out pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that. Nice. That's pretty much what I did. So that's our weekend. Yep. Our very, very long weekend. Yep. That's why this was a little bit longer. What are we going to talk about on the show? I wanted to talk about uh, Wise Cams again. Okay. I know that we've talked about them a lot, but they sent out a... Uh, interesting email the other day. Uh -huh. And then I also want to talk about Ford and Tesla battle. Okay. And I am going to talk about some AT&T shadiness mm -hmm. and my Disney Plus experience. Cool. Let's talk about that. Let's do it. Welcome back to Lunchtime Tech Talk. I'm Chad. And I'm Mike. <clears throat> so who wants to go first? Um, how about you go first? I think I know about this AT&T stuff, but I'm interested in how you came about this. I am super pissed off. Okay, so it affected you. <laughs> My wife got an email Saturday. Uh-huh. I don't know when she got it. She told me about it Saturday. She goes, hey, did you make a change to our AT&T account? And I go, nope. Nothing since we canceled AT&T home internet and right. switched over to suddenly. Okay. This is on our phones. Yeah. And she goes, well, it says here that uh, we upgraded to more data, and it's 10 bucks." And I go, I looked into unlimited plans, mm -hmm. but didn't see any benefit because we don't currently ever go over our data usage. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't do anything. And she goes, okay. And so I sign into – it just so happened that I was already doing computer stuff anyway. Okay. And so I sign into our account, and I look, and sure enough, we've been <clears> – <throat> We've got an extra 15 gigs of data for $10 a month. Well, congratulations hey, on your thanks. extra 15 gigs. Yeah, thanks. And so the one thing I do love about AT&T is their chat. Yes, it is good. It is good. It's usually pretty responsive. They're helpful. and They had to get good at it because I've they have used so it, many calls. I've used it a lot. <laughs> and so I pull up a chat box and I type in there like, hey, I didn't authorize any changes what is this? And the response I got back set me on fire. Oh, no. Because it was, because you're a loyal customer, AT&T has decided to give you another 15 gigs of data for only $10 a month. Yay. Yay. I didn't ask for that, but thanks. <clears throat> and I'm a person who I think is pretty kind most of the time. Yeah. I know that this person is not who changed my right, service. Right. And I said, well, I didn't authorize that, and an extra $10 a month on my bill is pretty shady on behalf of AT&T Corporate. 
can you change it back? And she said, I absolutely can. And everything was fine and dandy after that. But they're basically offering you something that costs them zero dollars and charging you ten for it. Because upping your gigs in a month doesn't really affect them. Okay. It's just a way for them to get ten more dollars a month. I am super stumped. Because they rolled it back like it was no They big rolled deal? it back like it never happened. That Okay, I guess I didn't really realize that this was going to be part of the story because I just assumed that they were going to be the, no, we've changed the plan and... And my plan doesn't exist anymore because when I was looking at the unlimited stuff, mm -hmm. like, because you have to kind of click into it a little bit before you can really right. know what's yeah. going on. It's almost kind of scary. And it, it is. <laughs> and it said in there, like, uh, if you choose this plan, you can't go back because your plan doesn't exist anymore. Something to that effect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the service rep, they, I think they knew that they were going to get pushback on this, but enough people aren't going to say anything that yeah. they're just going to get that extra 10 bucks a month in revenue. AT&T has a problem and I don't know if you <coughs> have noticed this, but they always have class action lawsuits against them. Always. And they always lose them. Uh huh. And, it's because they do stupid stuff like this. Yeah. If they were going to allow you to not participate in this $10 plan by rolling it back, they shouldn't have ever done it in the first place. They yeah. should have came out with a thing saying, hey, if you're on one of our older plans and you want to have more data, you can do it for 10 bucks. How much better or how much more likely would you have been to say, you know what, 10 bucks for 15 more gigs of data. I was looking at unlimited, but that will really fill my needs. This is a gap between what I was looking at and what I have. Right. And it would have been, it would have been perfect yeah. when I was looking. And I might have actually even done it that day because it's been a couple of months. Mm -hmm. But like, we really don't need it. Right. But it would have been a nice little insurance policy because my wife has talked about streaming music more in the yeah. car and that sort mm -hmm. of thing. And so, but it just, Oh, There's, it made me so mad because most people aren't going to notice $10. They probably it, will look at their bill and let's say your bill is 128 a month. You see 138 mm -hmm. and you probably don't even think anything about it. I think oh, it's probably taxes or something. Well, but the end's still the same. Right. It's still a one and it's still an eight. Right. And, you know, I don't know. I, I was just, oh. Yeah, I totally... It's super... Sh it, because it's super shady. Yes. It really bothered me. Yeah, it's very shady. It, it And I, you're not the only one, because this was going around the internet... Uh, over the weekend? Over the week, last week or so. Oh, like, okay. they had some... I read it somewhere that they were doing this, and, like, some... And people were not happy, like, to get this surprise. Like, hey, congratulations for being... That, that's basically what they were saying. For yeah. being loyal, we're going to give you 15 more gigs, but you're going to have to pay for it. Yeah. It's like, it, it, you're not, this isn't a charity type that's thing. That's not here. a gift. No, that's, that's you're you forcing, earning revenue. Yeah, you're forcing millions, probably, probably hundreds of thousands of people to <clears throat> pay 10 more dollars to you a month. Yeah. If you're going to, if you want them to go up to the next plan, just give them 15 gigs. Yeah. Or tell them, hey, look, we can get you up to 15 more gigs for 10 bucks a month. Would you like to do that? Yeah. There's probably a lot of people that'll say yes. Not not as many as that won't pay attention to their bill. Right. Which that makes it shady. Yep. Well, sorry you had to deal with that. That's okay. But I'm glad you got it off your bill. Yeah. I'm surprised they let you. I am too. I was worried that whenever I read that and you started talking about it, that you're going to be like, they wouldn't take it off my bill. I was set to cancel. Oh, man. Because Sprint right now uh -huh. has bring in anything from 6S and up and get an iPhone for free, an 11. Oh, so I was like, you're like ready to do this. Okay. All right. Later. <laughs> I had that in my back pocket. Yes. But crazy. <clears throat> I thought that was crazy. Yeah. Man. Way to go. AT&T. Way to go. Dirt bags. Douche bags. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, I want to talk about the, the wise cams. So, yeah. uh, I think it was this last year they came out with the AI person detection. We talked about this. It was fairly recently. Like think, it's not been out that long. It's it's been within the within the year, the 2019 year. I don't know exactly the date that they released it, but I started using it several months ago. 
and really, really liked it because where I live. Because it's not just motion. Right. Like it, it's, you can turn off motion and you can see it only when people walk by. You basically, it captures both, but in their app, they have a little thing that says motion and one that says person. And you can click the person and it basically narrows down all your videos. And if it detects a person in there, then it shows up in that oh, section. Oh, your events. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so it was really cool because then I could just go in there each day and be like, okay, there was a person detected here. Why was there a person detected at 12 o'clock in the afternoon? Who is this? Right. And then I could see. Yeah. I really liked it. Well, it's kind of a crazy technology. They basically contracted out with a company that is into AI um, person detection. Uh-huh. And what they did is it's actually kind of crazy how they did it they installed it on the cameras themselves with the update oh so the actual technology is inside the camera from what i was reading okay and that way it's not up in the cloud and it's a faster detection Uh and it's from what i gather it's kind of a proprietary type thing from this company like nobody else is really offering this on device type stuff because i guess it's pretty complicated well apparently in this contract that they signed with this company it said at any point in time they can cancel for any reason. Okay. That company canceled. All right. And so Wise basically sent out this email, which I thought was, it was frustrating to me at first, but then the more I thought about it, the better it is, is they sent out an email basically stating that guys and girls, the whole thing is not really gone the way that we thought it would go. Okay. And, Come January, February time frame, we're going to have an update out there that's going to update your app, and it's going to update uh, and remove and, and basically remove it. But we are in the works of building something in house, and they stated that they have been hiring people to do this type of work, and they've been trying to figure out the technology, and they say that it's going to come in the two in 2020. Okay. So in January, if you have a wise cam or you get one for Christmas and you're excited about the person detection, you might be a little disappointed to realize that it's going to be gone. They say it's going to be back, but me working in software, I know how you can make promises because you think you can hit deadlines. Personally, I don't think that I'm not expecting it next year. Sure. I'm hoping but I'm not going to get my hopes up. Well, so we likewise. I don't mm-hmm. think we've uh, hidden that fact at all. Could you, like, I know you said they've been hiring people, but could you even see it be a thing where, like, so they lose it in February. They're already working on their own in-house system. If they realize in, like, May or June that, like, oh, we're not, couldn't you see them possibly contracting out with someone else to get it on, like, during the year? I don't know that they want to go through that again. I, I'm just, it's just me guessing. Sure. Because this kind of, from what the email read, it seemed like a surprise to them. Like, oh, okay. how did we miss this type gotcha. of thing? We gotcha. didn't think this was going to happen. But I really think they want to do their own solution. But the cool thing is, is they did promise that this would always be a free service. Because now they do charge for a service. I don't know if you know this. But they have a service out there that will allow you to do full motion capture. And basically you pay like a dollar forty something per camera and it will capture the entire time motion is happening on your camera versus twelve seconds. Gotcha. Because right now it's twelve seconds and then you'd have to go back to the live stream if what was recorded on your SD card if your camera is still there. So with this, it captures it, throws it up to the cloud. So if somebody comes to your house, steals your camera. It throws it up to the cloud, and you at least be able to see some of the clip where you before you'd only be able to see 12 seconds. Gotcha. So anyways, but they did promise that this was going to actually be a free service, even if it's not on device, if it's in the cloud and they have to pay for the storage of it. Okay. So I think they did a really good job of sending this email out, being honest about it, giving us a long enough time of a heads up, especially right before the holiday season. Sure. Because I personally have asked for more wise cams for Christmas because it's a super cheap gift yeah. that somebody can get me that will just wants something to, you know, an idea of what I want. And it's something that I would use all the time. Yeah. So there are probably going to be a ton of those underneath Christmas trees and in stockings for people. You're going to get 
a whole bunch of like three by three cubes. Yeah, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of little tiny cube boxes, and I'm gonna be like, hmm, wonder what those are. Wonder what that is. Turns out it's just like a big Hershey's kiss, and they trick me. <laughs> diamond rings. I, I didn't want I this want a, diamond ring. I don't want diamond ring. This thing won't record anything for me. But no, so I, good, good on you, Wise, for being honest about it. I hope that the uh, development goes quick for the person detection because I loved it. I did ask them for car detection. Yes, you did. And I understand that they and that's had funny. it before. When, when I read that, like, I was like, yeah, that makes perfect sense for your right setup. Yes. But I was thinking about it like the first read – I was like, why do you need to detect a car in your baby's nursery? I don't understand. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, yeah, Mike's used these outside. He's got a long driveway. Of course he wants to know if a car pulls up. Yes. Of course. I would love it. Like, I understand that there's a lot, probably a lot of false positives because parked cars. That's one thing that they came back and said, that, hey, these things can trigger based off of parked cars. Just sitting there. Yeah, that kind of stinks. Yeah. It would almost be good if it was just cars with motion. Or you could toggle it on and off. Like, if it was annoying, like car sure. detection, like, sure. I don't want car detection on because it, I have parked cars outside my house all the time. Yeah. But for me, it's like, the only time a car is coming down my driveway is if they're there for some reason. Right. So, it would be awesome to have right. as an option. So, yeah. maybe they'll integrate that into the person detection. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. So, that's my little story on that. Nice. What do you got? Uh, my Disney Plus experience. Ah, yes. So I told you that I would probably do the free trial yeah. over Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. and we did. Yeah. A uh, couple things. So I have a Vizio, a fairly new Vizio okay. TV, um, but I don't have Apple TV or Fire Stick or any of those things. Oh, I didn't think about this. Yes. So I read about it before I ever downloaded it before I started my trial. Uh -huh. So <clears throat> with my TV, I can find what I'm looking for on my app on my phone mm -hmm. or tablet or whatever you're using, and I can cast it to my TV. Gotcha. And it's no big deal. Mm -hmm. I can play pause and do volume control from my TV remote. If I want to fast forward or rewind, I actually need to go into the app. Mm -hmm. Not a huge deal. Right. But... That's that's not as easy as it could be. Right. So if you have an LG or a Samsung or any of those other Roku, Fire Stick, yeah. Apple, like you get an app yes. and you can do everything in TV. Yeah. And it's no big deal. So that was the first thing. I told my wife about that and she was like, oh, really? And then she watched stuff all weekend. So it was not... <laughs> Oh, okay. So it was not... Wow. It was that not... That was a quick twist. Right? So it was not a problem, really. But I wanted to let people know, because I so I didn't it, even think about it. So your TV doesn't have an app installed on it. It's Correct. basically installed on your phone, and it, it casts whatever you're doing on your phone. Yeah, Kinda so like I think a, Disney Plus did some sort of contract situation mm -hmm. with certain yeah. manufacturers. Yeah. Yeah, they probably couldn't get on everybody devices yet. Right. I bet you you'll get something. Do, can you download new apps on your TV? Does it have... Yeah, yeah, stuff updates all the time. I bet you'll get it. At some, some point, point, I think that's true. It just only makes sense. Yeah. Um, it's also only been out since not a full month, right. since the 6th. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. we'll give it a little time. It's, it's not like But I did scroll through my apps before, um, before I downloaded to see what I had available, and then I Googled it to see, like... Okay, what's it actually offered on? Mm -hmm. And and found all that stuff. Yeah. Um, I did find out that I can reorder my TV apps, which is nice because YouTube was like number eight over and now it's number two. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so while I was doing all that looking, I found something else out. The other thing, um, are you familiar with the Disney Vault? Yes. I have uh, known about it in the past. That's yeah. where they lock videos up to... Ten years at a time. Yes. They yeah. put the lady in the tramp and... Cinderella in a vault, and they don't let him out for a while. This was my main reason for wanting the Disney Plus situation. Yes. Because <clears throat> my wife has been looking for Tangled, the updated Mandy Moore Rapunzel story. Mm -hmm. 
but it's been in the vault. Oh, so she couldn't just go to the store and buy it. You can't find it anywhere. That's so weird. It's it is. So and weird. so every few months she would like think about it and mm-hmm. want to watch it. You can't yeah. rent it anywhere because video stores don't exist anymore and it's not in Redbox because it's not current and popular. Right. And so she just wanted to watch this movie and couldn't, right? So Which weird. is weird. <laughs> so weird. And so Saturday night we watched Tangled. Yeah, because it's on there. Because it's on there. Isn't that cool? That's great. And you can watch any of them. Yeah. They're just all there. I watched Avatar. That's a good one. That movie is better than I remembered. And I I loved it it. the first time. Yeah, I loved it too. I was like obsessed with it. I think they edited out some stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Not, I don't don't know. I don't know if I like that. Yeah. We talked about this with Star Wars. Because it's Disney Plus and it's family friendly. Yeah. I think there was something missing. Hmm. All right. Enough said. I'll believe you. <laughs> yeah. The, I, but yeah, with Star Wars, we were talking about that the other day, um, how they went in and added some stuff in different places. and Some CGI back in the day. And, yeah. To the original three. Yeah. You can't go back and tweak. I don't know. Yeah. So you, did you watch any of the Star Wars stuff? Did you watch The I Mandalorian? Haven't, I haven't yet. Um, we've watched three things. Mm-hmm. I mean, we only had four days off, Mike. Mm-hmm. I I didn't just have unlimited time to watch movies. Mm-hmm. No, we enjoyed the day on Saturday because it was warm. Yeah. Um, we went down to Branson and spent the day. Oh, okay. So cool. we weren't home Thursday and most of Friday. Um, I spent three hours watching Avatar on Friday. <laughs> yeah. So you watched Avatar, Tangled, and what else? <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say. Oh, God. I was working on something. You know what I was working on. Okay. But my wife had uh, control of the TV. Mm Mm-hmm. Teen Beach movie? (laughs) It's like a Disney original. Chad, I'm not surprised. Hold on, hold on. It's like a (laughs) Disney original from the creator of High School Musical, and it was cheesy as hell, but I'm going to admit I kind of liked it. But you you like those cheesy kind of things, don't you? I do. You You know why? I figured it out. Because as stressful as the world can be, I know what's going to happen in that movie. Yeah. Everything's going to be fine at the end. Yeah. Nothing is going to go wrong. Yeah. Like, it's just going to, they're going to sing around and dance and it's all going to be fine. This is why people love romantic comedies. And the Hallmark movies. Yeah. They always have this positive vibe. It's the same thing every time the yeah. hallmark movies do drive me crazy but yeah. we watched that and i was working on something else and so i was sort of in and out uh-huh. but uh but yeah so when far. she when she <laughs> when she read me the title i was like what she goes you've never seen this and i was like come on she's like you're gonna see it now yep <laughs> and you're like by the end of it you're like let's watch it again i'm gonna sing all the songs right <laughs> Right? Because I know you. Yeah. You probably memorized all the songs as it was going. It takes one viewing. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to watch The Mandalorian uh, because this I'm going to. last episode, the latest one, which I think it's four, I think that's what we're on, was really good. So now, see, I like this. There's only eight episodes total. Mm-hmm. And I saw that they're ranging from like 22 to 37 minutes. Yes. Like, I can do that. Yeah. That's the kind of binging I can handle. Yeah, it disturbs me. <laughs> we won't go down that road, but it should be an hour. <laughs> Disney's being a cheapskate. I agree. I agree. But, but you need to, you should, you should watch. I shouldn't say you need to watch it. You should watch it because it's actually, I'm, I'm not a Star to. Wars fan and it's, it is good. It's standalone. Well, I mean, it's probably not completely standalone. Like, you probably need a little bit of Star Wars knowledge. At least just... I think it probably helps. Yeah. But, like, but for the most part, like, it's not a part of the storyline so far in any of the movies. Like, it's just its own little thing. Yeah. And and that's nice, too. Yeah. It's... That I don't have to have all of this backstory and knowledge. Yeah. it's It's so good at this point that I might subscribe for one more month just to finish to it finish off. it because out. i'm going to be like two episodes shy i think at this point oh yeah <laughs> so, you probably need to <laughs> i might i probably will yeah i love my episode type shows i was trying to decide if i was going to do 
month or year. And I think I'm just going to do year. Probably makes sense for you. Yeah. Because, I mean, obviously... The know, kids haven't watched a second of right. Disney+. Plus. Yeah, but your wife <laughs> is apparently loving it. Yes. I mean, just to get tangled, that's... Somebody would have probably paid 50 bucks. Oh, hey, if you do it now, there's like 10 bucks off for the year. I think Mine that's going on. Mine said 69.99 still. But I think for Cyber Monday. Oh, I specifically think. Yeah, today. so if you're listening to this now, it might be over. You're done. Yeah. You're done for. So, but I think you probably probably look into that if you're going to if you're wanting to do that. As he pulls up the app. Mhm. <laughs> So it sounds like your Disney Plus experience was very positive. It was very plus. Yes, it was very plus. Oh my there. gosh, See my wife there. got through, assuming she's watching them in order, she got through nine episodes of Lizzie McGuire. She knows how to do it. She, My wife is a binger. Nice. Let me tell you, she hates when I get interested in a show that she's watching uh -huh. because she has to slow down. Oh, that's what I've told my wife. I said that <laughs> we are not allowed to watch shows together unless right? it's one show that I'm semi-interested in and I don't care if we watch it or not. And she's yeah. like, but that's not fair. I'm like, I can't. You watch it at your pace? That's way too I'll slow. I'll watch it at my pace. Yeah. I'm like, I'm four episodes in before you even get through the opening scene. Yeah, before you even blink. <laughs> So I had one other thing I want to talk about, which kind of made me laugh. So you know Tesla did the whole, like, pull a Ford truck type thing? Yes, they did. And Ford said, basically... Meh, it was a six-cylinder. Meh. It was a six-cylinder. It was our lowest model. You used a $27,000 truck to be pulled by a $70,000 truck. Of course <laughs> it lost. Right. And we'll be prepared to do a rematch to send us a cyber truck. And Elon Musk basically just said, sure, why not? Let's do this. Uh huh. Ford backed out. Yeah, they did. <laughs> I mean, that's awesome. Okay. Would they have lost? Who knows? Probably. But I just thought it was funny. Like, you can't show your cards and then say, no, nope, you know what? Oh, wait, never mind. Or, like, I know it was too late. They already opened their mouth. But come on. Get a $70,000 truck from Ford and just... Try to do the test. Yeah. Why not? Why not? And if they do win, come out with a truck that can beat them for that same price. Yeah. So I thought that was really funny. That was all I wanted to say about it, that Ford backed out. I like Fords, but it's just funny. Whenever you say I'm, I'm willing to put a apples to apples truck and whenever the person says, okay, sure, let's do this. And you're like, oh, maybe, never mind. I didn't think you were going to agree to that. Right. I don't think Elon has much to lose by pulling a Ford. If he even lost with it, he would come back out with one that would actually do it. Elon has a super small purse, which is what my wife and I have started saying when, you know, if someone, this, this is a pop culture reference. So if you don't have any fucks to give, <laughs> then it means you just don't care about anything. Right. right? So if you have a big purse to carry around, all your Fs. Yeah. Then you've got a lot. You've got, you got a teeny tiny purse. Yeah. You got none to give. You got none to give. Yeah. So whatever. E whatever happens, happens. Elon might not even have a purse. He might not. <laughs> I would say he probably doesn't. Yeah. I mean, so that's how we talk about things when we're in the company of others. <laughs> yeah. That person got a small purse. That person's got a small purse. <laughs> I like that. That's awesome. Yeah. That's all I had. Do you want to do some crazy tech? Let's do some crazy tech. All right. Let this ride, okay? Mm hmm. I'm going to let it ride. Turkey day, turkey day, turkey day, turkey day, turkey day, turkey day, turkey day. Spent 10 hours cooking. My girl love eat turkey wings. I took a nap and forgot my name. Black Friday for the shopping. Rather talk about that cyber thing. Turkey day, turkey day, turkey day. <laughs> Dude, you kill me so much. <laughs> that was freaking amazing. <laughs> I just... That is so good. That was, every time. I don't know why I get surprised, but every time, it's got to be better than the next. And that, that was... That was super fun. Nice. Now nice. I'm going to have that stuck in my head all day. Yeah. Yeah. A little pump. 
Yeah. What kind of rap name is that? <laughs> you want a big pump? Nope. Little, little pump. pump. <laughs> I'll go first because mine's absolutely ridiculous and I think it's a joke. It's not, though. So, These things have been around for years. What? Okay, so I was looking on Amazon for just ridiculous things. Uh-huh. And I ran across what I thought was a, a joke. Apparently, Chad is saying it's not. Stainless steel soap? Yeah. It's a bar of soap. No, it's, no. It's a bar of it's stainless bar, steel. It's a bar of stainless steel. That, Shaped like soap. That you use like soap to clean odors off of your hands. Yeah. This works? Supposedly. I've never actually used one, but this has been a thing my whole life. Really? Yeah, for as long as I can remember. I've never heard of this. Yeah. So, I don't know how it works, but it, yeah, if you're dicing onions or messing with garlic and you've got that smell, or fish, mm -hmm. you've got that smell on your hands yeah. that you just can't get off. Yeah. For whatever reason, run your hands under some water and use this stainless steel quote bar of soap mm -hmm. and it removes the odors that is so i don't weird. know why it's so weird yeah i saw this and i was like oh well, that's stupid this, this can't. <laughs> i was like this is just a gag like yeah. i'm gonna have a bar of soap on my count i thought maybe it might be something to like look cool yeah like a decoration thing right but then i started reading it and i'm like this thing says it removes odors and people were giving it reviews yeah like yeah this this works i'm like how does this work like does it magic? Does the odor like get on the bar and then it rinses off the? I don't know. I don't know. I really, I have no idea how. But I think it it's, works. It's crazy. It is. And that's crazy. why it's my crazy tag. What made me laugh is because I actually clicked on the specific one mm -hmm. that you found, and I was scrolling down through, <clears throat> and it's it's. I'm not trying to make fun, but it makes me laugh. It's totally from a foreign company, mm -hmm. and they did like Google Translate on oh, it. Yeah, yeah. So it says. Surface is smooth enough, thanks to the exquisite polishing process. <laughs> With stainless steel base, simple to store, and suiting for suitable for washing table in all kinds of occasions, which <laughs> which means you can have it in your bathroom or in your kitchen. All kinds of washing table is a sink, <laughs> but. <laughs> But that specifically made me laugh. The part that makes me <laughs> laugh the most is surface is smooth enough. Smooth enough. <laughs> Thanks to the exquisite polishing process. It's smooth enough. It's smooth. You're not gonna I'm get, imagining that there's like one <laughs> sharp edge. You're not going to get a metal <laughs> splinter. <laughs> Just like slices your hands. Yeah, <laughs> the smell's gone. Uh, the, but the, my hands are bloody. But blood... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so apparently this is a thing. It's a thing. If any of you have actually used one of these, though, let us know. If the surface was smooth enough. <laughs> no. <laughs> let us know if they actually work or if you've ever used it and, like, it didn't work. Yeah. Because it's just so strong. Yeah. Or or what? It, or, or do you have to use soap and water also? Because, like, because yeah, soap this? and water will get your hands clean, mm -hmm. but, like, it won't take the smell away. Right. But do you use soap and water with the stainless steel thing? I don't know. This is weird. Any, like I said, anybody who knows, yeah, let us know. What do you got? I got uh, the Ninja Foodie. Mm. This is another thing made by the Ninja. Uh-huh. This, this company's insane. Did they start with the bullet? Is the bullet no, Ninja? The, no, the bullet's not theirs. They had, They just had the Ninja. Food okay. processor thing. Yeah. Yeah. But it's bullet shaped. Yes. So we bought a nice blender mm -hmm. from Ninja and it was like our first blender that wasn't handed down mm -hmm. from parents. Yeah. yeah. It was a nice one. Uh -huh. And <clears throat> we were at Sam's and I've been looking at them for a little while. I've talked to you about air fryers and instant pots and all this different stuff. Mm -hmm. Um and you said don't get an air fryer. You yes. can do the same thing in the oven. Yeah. And so I didn't. I yeah. got a Ninja Foodie instead, which is both. Yeah, it's both. It's, it's both. Like, it's, it it's... just has a different lid that you put on when you want to do instant pot stuff. Mm -hmm. And the only thing we've used it for so far is hard boiling eggs. 
Oh, really? But we use it every single week. Yeah. Because we boil a dozen eggs every single week on Sunday nights. <clears throat> and does it in six minutes. That's with bad. a half a cup of water. Yeah. That's super which is fast. insane. Uh -huh. And so we've yet to actually use the air fryer portion of it, mm -hmm. which. You'll probably love it. If we ever use it. Yeah. But like you said, like you really, you really don't need it. You don't need it. But if you wanted a pressure cooker and this thing does both, why right, not? Right. Yeah. Um, and we love it so far. Um, the pressure cooking part of it works great. Mm -hmm. Um, I do feel like I used it for one other thing. You know what's really good? I don't remember. In a pressure cooker? What's that? Uh, like a pot roast. Oh, yeah? It'll cook a... It super breaks it down. Yeah, it puts it... like It'll cook a pot roast to falling apart in like two hours. Instead of all day. Yes. Yeah. And, it, and if you throw potatoes in there with it, it's super good. Yeah. Like, that's probably my favorite thing that Jessica cooks in the pressure cooker. Yeah. Just because it's like, it makes it so tender... And it's not an all-day process. Yeah. Maybe maybe I'll get your guys' recipe yeah. from you. Jessica's got several. And so that way, that way the first... Because pot roast isn't like ex, an expensive cut of meat mm -mm. per pound. Right. But when you buy a pot roast, like you're spending tens of dollars. Yeah, it's... And it's, so I don't want to, I don't want to cook something that's not... Not flavorful and good. It's not like you, know? you can buy a one pound pot roast, <laughs> right? Or you're out a couple bucks, right? You have to buy a multi pound pot roast. So yeah. it's like, okay, this is going to be. A and couple then you've got to eat on it for a while yes. too. So, <clears throat> yeah, I don't want I don't want our first one to be gross. Any type of like tough meats, it does a really good job in breaking them down to yeah. make them soft. Yeah. And it just cooks other things like super fast. I'm trying to think about what else she cooks in her. She cooks all kinds of stuff. I don't pay attention. But she cooks all kinds of stuff. And it just, like chicken and stuff, it'll cook it super fast. Yeah. So that's awesome. You should use your air fryer. You should buy yourself some tater tots or some French fries and try it out. Because when I started using the pan that simulates like an air fryer mm -hmm. in the oven, like fries and tater tots came out really crispy. And well, not yeah, because they're not just sitting in their water from the the frozenness that melted off of mm -hmm. them. Like, it makes sense. The air goes around them. Yeah. It works really good. So that's cool. Yeah. I like Ninja stuff. Ninja makes this coffee maker that one of my friends has, and it does, like, everything. Like, it's like... To a, steam your milk? It's... I think it does. It's like a mini barista. It, it literally will do everything, even the, the cold frappe coffees. There's those bells. There's the bells. Well, that's all I had. Me too. How about you? You want to rush through this? Let's rush through All this. Right. <laughs> you can find us on the internet at lunchtimetechtalk.com. You can find us. <laughs> Mike's trying to shield sound with his hands. <laughs> you can find us on Facebook and Instagram at Lunchtime Tech Talk and Patreon. Uh -huh. You can find us on Twitter at Lunchtime Tech T1. You can find me. That's the one that's going to come through. Mm -hmm. Yep. You can find me on Twitter mostly, but also Instagram and Zwift. At MSU Mac, that's M S U M A C C. Mike, where you at? I am on Twitter at run underscore bike underscore Mike, and everywhere else at run bike Mike. Oh man, I was gonna say something. Oh, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I am doing a December workout challenge. I don't know if you've seen this, Chad, uh -uh. but every day I'm gonna post a short workout, like sit ups, crunches, push ups, and if you do it and you like and you can comment on the post. So yesterday was 30 minutes of cardio and day before and or crunches. Mm -hmm. And then today is push-ups. So last night you challenged me. Yeah. To 30 minutes on Zwift. Uh-huh. And <clears throat> I said, I hate you. Uh-huh. And then I said, thank you. Uh-huh. And I didn't do it. <laughs> and here's why. My daughter didn't go to bed until 10 o'clock last night. Mm -hmm. Like, we put them down yeah. at 6.30, and my son fell right asleep, and she cried for an hour. She was fighting it. She was, yeah. She she's was like, not I'm, having she's it. She's like, I'm not going to bed. I know that Santa guy's coming. <clears throat> so we, <laughs> it's the month. Mm -hmm. So we got her out and let her play for a little bit, and then tried to put her back down, and she just, she, she wasn't having it. And yeah. so when she finally did go to bed, I did too. Yeah. So. I don't blame you. 
no workout. Yeah. I had everything turned on. Yeah. I was ready to go. Well, when you have a kid that won't go to sleep, it's probably not a good idea to start a workout. Yeah. So. Hey, babe, you got this? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Don't be that dad. Yeah, right. So we made it all the way through the bells. We did. And that's our podcast for the week. What was the rush? Yeah, there was no rush. <laughs> we just talked really fast for like a little bit. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for listening, and we'll see you next week. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.